The world map displays an overview of your current location, as well as provide a means to teleport around the Second Life grid. Right now, my avatar is standing outside the ISTE building on Edu Island. Information on your location, including your exact coordinates, are located at the top of the Second Life window. These XYZ coordinates represent your three-dimensional position on the Second Life grid. Click the map button at the bottom of the Second Life window to launch the world map. Notice the symbols at the top right of the window. Your current position is noted by a small white circle inside a yellow circle. Here are the symbols. Here you are on the map. Click on the map and use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out on your location on the map. Now you can see the neighboring sims such as Info Island and Cyberary City. The small green dots that you see on the map represent other Second Life residents. In a moment I'm going to click on a location on Info Island where there appears to be a large group of people. Before I teleport to Info Island, I want to make sure that I can come back to this exact location. So what I'll do is create a landmark for this location by clicking on the World drop-down menu at the top of the screen and click on Create Landmark here. A window containing a description of the landmark has appeared, which I'm going to close by clicking on the orange X. I can also check under the My Landmarks listing in the world map to see that the landmark is indeed there. Okay, now I'm ready to head over to Info Island. I'm going to click on a point on the map where there seems to be a large group of people. There's a bunch of green dots there. And now I'm going to click the Teleport button. I've now teleported to the Welcome Center on Info Island. And what I'm going to do now is create a landmark here as well. Click on the World drop-down menu and click on Create Landmark here. And that description window opens up again. I'll just close that. And if I click on the Map button, this new landmark is also listed under My Landmarks. Okay, now I'm going to close the map. And as you can see, there are a bunch of people here at the Welcome Center. Before I head back to the ISTE building, I'm going to launch the mini map. The mini map shows a very limited amount of information on your immediate surroundings, such as the outline of structures and objects, as well as the location of other nearby avatars. If you look at the mini map right now, there are about six other green dots on there besides the icon for yourself. To close the mini map, just click on the orange X at the top right of the little window. Uh, now I am ready to head back to ISTE. I'll click on the map button to bring up the world map and click on the arrow next to the My Landmarks heading. And then I will click on the landmark for ISTE and then click Teleport. and my avatar has been teleported back to the landing in front of the ISTE building on Edu Island.